hey y'all happy friday welcome to another vlog so i'm starting this vlog today i actually wasn't planning on vlogging today but i am sitting at the nail salon and i a lot of you all have been asking me questions about my nails so before i go get them changed <laughs> i wanted to answer those questions i mean i've kind of answered y'all in my messages i honestly didn't get, expect to get that many questions about my nails but you guys are interested so that's fun um first let me put on my chapstick this is the summer fridays tinted lip balm and this is the color brown sugar this is the darkest one they have and it's probably the one i wear the least but i do really like it i don't have any makeup yet i do have to film some videos or one video later today so i'll put on makeup right before i do my video but i didn't have time nor did i really feel like putting on makeup um this morning i just dropped the kids off at school so yeah anyway let me show y'all my nails so that's what they're looking like now i know my hands are a little bit ashy but i'm getting ready to get my nails done y'all <laughs> but anyway this is what they're looking like i did really enjoy them this is actually it's been three weeks in one day so they lasted pretty well, but now like they're grown out. There have been no cracks or anything like that. The polish held up good, everything. Um, so they did a really good job. And I decided to get nails done because, you know, on Instagram, I see all the girls with all the pretty nails and I just really wanted some hard nails. Like, <laughs> There's this girl that I follow and every time I would see her nails, like right before Valentine's Day, I really wanted them. And so one day I just decided I'm going to go give it a try. So I went to the nail salon that I've gone to before. I don't know if you guys remember my nail salon rants, <laughs> but in my last nail salon rants, um, I went to a salon to fix what another salon had started, right? So I'm at the salon that fixed it. <laughs> Hopefully it makes sense because I had a good experience when they fixed it. And I actually had a good experience when they did my nails this time around. Um, but yeah, so I told them, I looked on their website because I didn't really know what I wanted. Like, I don't know what people call them these days. Yeah, I haven't had anything artificial on my nails since... I don't know when like i remember for my wedding now mind you i got married in 2009 okay <laughs> for my wedding i popped some press on nails on my nails real quick just they basically lasted the day of and then you know when i went on my honeymoon they came off <laughs> but so i got press on nails for that but before that like when i was in high school i was that girl that was always getting my nails done and i guess because i had more time i had a job so i paid for my own nails i got my nails done like every two weeks nails and toes y'all <laughs> Now back then, mind you, nail like nails were like twenty five dollars. Now they're ridiculous. But anyway, that's beyond the point. I haven't had anything fake on my nail nails besides like gel or whatever, like on my actual nails. But I haven't had like any addition, like any tips or anything in forever. And so what I told them I wanted was powder gel with the tip and I basically just took in a picture of what I wanted and the person whose nails it was is Mason Molly on Instagram I'll link her Instagram down below she also has a YouTube channel she does mainly coffee content which y'all know I love <laughs> but I always see her nails so she was my inspiration she was the photo I took in and they came out really good I really like them they're kind of me like as far as the color and then just a little bit extra so today I um I don't know how to take these off. So I don't I'm gonna go in there and see if either they can do a fill. But I don't know. They're getting too long for me. Like this is too long. I want them to be, I don't know if you guys can see where my nail has grown. So it's like right there. So I want them to basically cut all that off. <laughs> I don't like long nails, y'all. I don't I like them on other people, but for me, I don't know. These feel too long. So I'm gonna see what they can do. I might just get these taken off and maybe get a regular gel manicure y'all know basic boring me but we're gonna go in here and see what they're talking about i kind of want to get some coffee but there's this coffee shop that i like right next door but i'm thinking since i'll be getting my nails done i really won't have my hands yeah i'm not gonna worry about it i'll drink coffee when i get back home so anyway i need to wash my hair y'all it's time it's past time <laughs> uh, anyway i'll see y'all in a bit hey y'all so i'm done getting my nails done i 
could get a feel that's what they told me but i think i would have to go darker to cover like the base color i, I don't know but um i just went ahead and had to take them off and give me a regular gel manicure which i was kind of toying around with the idea of doing it anyway they were quick and the guy that i saw was the same guy who did my nails last time and he did a good job except he made me bleed right there which is super annoying anyway that's fine it's my that's my sign that getting my nails done regular is not for me <laughs> but he did do a good job like i like the color and all it's just very basic y'all probably can't even see it but i do like the color so i had my little um affair with getting my nails done and now I'll be back to doing my own little basic boring gel manicures at home. I mean, if I have to get my nail, like if I feel like getting my nails done again, I'll probably come back to them. Cause I feel like last time he did a really good job. I just don't know what happened this time. Like what happened? It wasn't hurting while he was doing it, but this one is bleeding. So I don't know. Y'all people who get your nails done all the time, y'all tell me. I feel like it's kind of unacceptable that I should be bleeding walking out of a nail salon. But anyway, I'm gonna go home, get some stuff done that I need to do. And I don't know if I'll be back today because honestly, like I said, I wasn't planning on vlogging. I really just wanted to show y'all my nails because so many people had asked. So um, yeah, I will see y'all later. Good morning, y'all. Happy Monday. So as you can see, I'm on my way to work. I got all my scrubs. But anyway, I wanted to vlog today because today is actually my last day as a pharmacist for the unknown future. <laughs> Not saying that I will never go back to another pharmacy job, but I don't have plans of it. I will be keeping my license up, um, but I don't have plans of going back. And honestly, I wanted to share this with y'all because some of y'all probably have noticed that for the past year i've only been working one day a week <laughs> some of you all probably noticed some of you all have not um i'll kind of get into reasons why but coming up until this day i kind of thought it wouldn't really feel like a big deal because like i said i've only been working one day a week anyway but i don't know this past week i've been really thinking about it and it's kind of bittersweet not gonna lie uh, we'll get into the bitter first. <laughs> so the bitter part, it's not bitter, but y'all get what I'm saying, right? So it's bitter because, you know, I worked so hard to get through pharmacy school. Um, you know, coming out when you're young, you have all these dreams of what you want to do. And um, I didn't necessarily fulfill those dreams. Like I became a pharmacist like I wanted to, but I always thought, you know, once I got into pharmacy school, I always thought that I would go, you know, higher up in the ranks and that kind of stuff. Didn't happen like life happens and things become less important to you or more important to you based on what's going on around you. So I'm not bitter about that. But um, I did work hard and, you know, I have been a pharmacist. Let's see. I graduated in 2008. So I've been a pharmacist since like July of 2008 so that's a long time y'all that's a long time so it's just like a part of my life chap a chapter that's closing in my life so that's a little bit bitter bitter sounds so bad it's not bitter like i'm not upset about it but y'all feel me um so yeah there's that but then it's also sweet because this will let's see so let me put this out there too my husband is also stopping pharmacy as well he has another week or so left but it's sweet because now our business is making us enough money on the regular that we do not have to be tied down to our nine nine to five for lack of better terms it's not a nine to five y'all thankfully we both work for the same company and we have kind of cushy pharmacist jobs in that we don't have to work weekends um holidays we're off so we work 10 hour shifts and um although we don't work every day during the week because we have kids and because our shifts are so long it still wouldn't provide the flexibility that one would think um so 
for instance, because I only work one day a week, you may assume that me and my family were able to do a lot of things together. And if you think of just like me and my kids, yeah, we could do stuff together, but not my husband because he was working and vice versa. So um, we didn't, we set up our schedule. The reason that I went down to one day a week is because last year, uh, middle of the school year last year, I had to switch my son's school um, just because it wasn't the school he was at wasn't working well for him. Y'all know he has special needs and I just felt like I needed to do it. And in order to be able to do that, I needed to make a sacrifice because we don't have help per se. <laughs> we do have a date night babysitter now, but like we don't have a regular babysitter that like works during the day. Like, no, we don't have a nanny or anything like that. My family doesn't live here. I do have some friends here, but they have their own jobs, their own lives, their own kids. So it is what it is. So at that point, I made the decision to, I, I actually quit then, but I told them I would stick around for one day a week until they found somebody. Well, they didn't, never found anybody because <laughs> clearly it's a year later. <laughs> um, but anyway, it, it worked out. So basically the way our schedules were set up is days that I, the day that I worked a week, my husband was off. And so, yeah. So every day of the week, my kids have one of their parents that is not at work at, you know, a place where we can't leave. Cause I don't know if y'all know this about pharmacist jobs. I'm sure if you're in healthcare, you get this, but like a lot of people have jobs, like you can go to work and if something happens, you can leave. No, 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 no. If you are a pharmacist, you ain't going nowhere. You are not leaving <laughs> until your schedule shift. And that's because in pretty much every pharmacist job, unless you work remote or something like that, uh, or you work for an insurance company, a non-traditional like pharmacy job, but even if you work in a hospital or a retail setting, or like myself, I work at a medical clinic, there's typically, the pharmacist always has to be there. Like you cannot, the show cannot run without the pharmacist. So therefore the pharmacist always has to be there. So say if I had an emergency, I would need to call, try to find somebody to come cover me so I can leave. In very, very dire cases, I could close down the pharmacy and leave, but that gotta be like dire. And I know some of y'all probably don't get that, but you also have to think about people need their medicines. So, it's you know a catch 22 i feel like i'm rambling but y'all are my venting session i haven't really talked much about this with anybody so i'm telling y'all <laughs> but anyway um anyway so i'm happy that this will now provide our family a lot more flexibility to be able to even take like little weekend trips um to visit both my family and my husband's family and just to just have more time uh, to have help with like all the kids stuff it'll really help me because I've been carrying the burden of a lot of the kids stuff because obviously I work less but now the fact that my husband will also not be working traditionally I mean he'll still be working for our business don't get me wrong he's still gonna be working but not in a traditional role anymore I will be working for ourselves only so I'm excited, but it is a little bit bittersweet because this is the end of a long chapter. Anyway, I'm going to stop tearing up y'all ear because I've been talking for six minutes straight. So <laughs> I just wanted to check in with y'all, share that with you all. I'm on my way to work. And because it's my last day of work, I decided to do my makeup today. Not nothing crazy. I'm wearing a skin tint and lighter makeup, but it's still like a full face of makeup, which I don't always do. My fragrance that I am wearing... I brought it with me because it's my first time wearing it so I don't know how it's going to perform but this is Blanche Betts by Liquids Imaginaire. I can't really hold it up y'all. I am driving. Even though I'm driving slowly, I am driving. So anyway, let me go. <laughs> um, hopefully it's a great day and yeah, I'll see y'all later. <laughs> It's not as creamy as I Yeah. Yeah. It's 
Smells good in here. It's cute. Yeah, we might have to do a steak. I've been seeing on Instagram. <laughs> Bye. I can get you off my mind. Hey y'all, happy Friday. So I know I'm looking a mess. I feel like I'm always coming on camera looking a mess, but hey, this is a vlog, this is my real life. <laughs> so I just got back home from working out. I had a Pilates class today, and then I went to the hair store because I'm getting ready to do my hair, y'all. <laughs> so um, let me show you what I went there for. I got some passion twists and these were 100% inspired by my friend. She told me she was getting passion twists. And then lo and behold, YouTube pops up a video for me of somebody doing their own passion twist, <laughs> the Chic Natural. I think that's her name. I've been following her for forever, but it's, it popped up a video in my recommended. So then I watched it. So then I was like on the hunt, like, am I gonna be able to do this myself? My friend got hers done. But I tried to look, cause I kind of was thinking about getting my hair braided. I tried to look to see if there was any appointments available with the girl that I went to last time. And she doesn't have anything until like April. Uh, but it was last minute, like a last minute split decision that I want to do something to my hair. So I just decided that I'm going to try it. So y'all pray for me. Hopefully um, the next time I turn this camera on, these will be in my hair cause I'm getting ready to do it now. I already, I washed my hair last night and right now it's in like four big twists and I have them just bobby pin and that's to stretch them. So I do that a lot of times if I don't wanna blow dry my hair. Now, if I were getting my hair done, they usually want you to blow dry your hair. But for myself, if I ever do some sort of protective style in it and I need it a little bit stretched, this is what I typically do. So I picked up those and then also Chloe needed some more shampoo. So I picked up this cream of nature. I usually use cream of nature, the coconut or something like that. I can't remember what, which one, but this one is the cream of nature professional ultra moisturizing shampoo. And I'm hoping that this is going to be similar to the cream of nature. My mom used to use on me back in the day. <laughs> that was like the best shampoo. That was the only shampoo pretty much I used as a kid, unless I was getting my hair done. But like all throughout high school, that was the shampoo that I used. Um, so I'm hoping that this will be like that. I like the newer versions of the Cream of Nature, but I don't think they're as good as the older version. So, um, and the reason that I know it's just shampoo, it's just supposed to get your hair clean. But for me, what I remember is Cream of Nature always made my hair feel like I washed my hair with conditioner, but it still felt very clean. So not like I washed it with conditioner. It, it felt like I washed and conditioned it before I even put the conditioner on. So hopefully it makes sense. So yeah, I picked this up. And me and her can share that. I'm not out of my shampoo yet, but um, what I'll probably do is actually start using this on my hair because we use the same kind of shampoo. I'll start using this on my hair first and I'll put my little bottle in her bathroom. Anyway, I also picked up some Edge Booster. This is in the pineapple scent. I love this Edge Gel. I hadn't bought any in a while, but I ran out of my curls blueberry paste uh edge gel and so i pulled out my other edge booster that i had in my cabinet that i hadn't used in a while and i realized how much i liked it but i'm almost out so i'm gonna use this for the passion twist um just to like slick my edges and parts and stuff so i just went ahead and picked up some more just to make sure i have enough and then i just picked up a crochet needle and this is I'll link the video on how I'm gonna do them because I'm not gonna vlog me doing them because I don't know what the heck I'm doing, y'all. <laughs> I cannot give you a hair tutorial because I don't know what I'm doing. So yeah, this is the stuff that I'm getting ready to do my hair with. First, I'm gonna eat lunch, but I also got a package that I figured I might as well open with y'all. This is from Lucky Scent. I purchased this. It's two perfumes. So y'all are getting like first dibs on what, you know, what I think of them immediately when I open them. Um, these are some samples that they give you for free. Let's see what samples they get me. I, I think I told them two samples that I want and then they pick the rest. So I have the Victorious, oh, Bodacia, the Victorious Blue Sapphire. That's nice, because I've never tried anything from that brand. Zerjoff 1861 Decas. I'm glad I got this because this is one that I have been wanting to try. Stephane Umbert Lucas 777 Mortal Skin. 
Um, I don't think I've ever heard of this one. I've heard of the brand, but I've never heard of this particular one. So we'll see how that goes. Epico Vanille Charnel. I think this is one that I asked for. I know I wanted to smell it. So that mean Peregrina, I've been wanting to smell that too. These are some really good samples, y'all. And then Suspiro Vibrato. And I feel like I heard somebody talk about that recently. So all of these are really good niche fragrances that I am excited to smell. So nice, nice job Lucky Scent for picking out those samples for me. And then I ordered two fragrances. So this first one is from Maison Mataha and this is Escapade Gourmand. So this is a vanilla scent. It actually has the notes on the back, but they're in French, so I'm not gonna bother reading them. But I've heard this was just a very nice, beautiful vanilla scent that's not too heavy. And I've kind of been on the hunt for that. <laughs> this was all the rage due to Fumi Monet on TikTok and Instagram. I feel like she sold this fragrance out and then Jackiana got it. And th then this fragrance just never could stay in stock, y'all. So it was all the rage like last, I feel like last summer, but I wasn't about to jump on the hype train. I'm like, I don't need no basic vanilla. And here I am now looking for a basic vanilla. So I'm excited to try this out. Let's smell it. Ooh, the bottle is gorgeous. I knew it was gorgeous, but it's even more gorgeous in person. It's nice and heavy, and the cap is really, really pretty. I really like this bottle, and I think that's one of the reasons that I ended up getting this. Not just because of the bottle, obviously, but I like the presentation of it. So, yeah, it's a vanilla. <laughs> so, it's a vanilla. I feel like I smell some caramel. It's sweet, but it's not heavy. I really like this. I will say I could smell the little the alcohol a little bit more than I expected uh, for this caliber of fragrance, but this is the first spray. And sometimes I feel like spraying a fragrance when it first comes in the mail is not really the truest representation because I feel like it gets shaken and it's out in the elements. So I really, prefer to let them sit for a bit but y'all i'm too excited i like this it's giving me cake batter vanilla is it giving me how much it costs i'm not quite sure y'all i'm not quite sure but it is pretty okay so i'll have to play around with this i do really enjoy the scent whether or not it's worth it y'all have to wait for that in another video i already have a video planned i think for this um so we shall see so that's the first one and then the second one is Bontalenti or Bontalenti. I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is by the brand Profumo di Firenze. And I feel like this is currently making the rounds on YouTube. I cannot remember who I first heard about this fragrance from. Maybe it was Marcy. I'm not sure. But I, again, this is supposed to be a gourmand vanilla that is fruity, I believe, and has a banana note, if I remember correctly. So let's see. This is what the bottle looks like, and it's nice and substantial as well. Of course, it's not as nice as the Mesa Mataha one, but this one is like half the price of the Mesa Mataha, so I actually, actually really like the bottle of this, even though it's simple. Mm, okay, again, I get the alcohol note immediately, but let me let it dry a little bit. I definitely get fruits. I get banana, but I feel like I get something else, maybe like peach. Yeah, I feel like I smell peach and banana and strawberry. They're all kind of, it's like a bunch of different mixed fruits. I smell vanilla, but I think it's more of a fruity scent with a vanilla background. This is actually reminding me of, what is it called? Atar Collection Hayati, which is like a raspberry scent um that has a little bit of a vanilla background this is reminding me of that but it's with different fruits okay i think this is going to be good for summer spring summer so i'll have to try these to let y'all know more in a future video but i figure y'all might as well get a little sneak peek if you're watching my vlogs and i know you are a true supporter and i appreciate you <laughs> so y'all getting sneak peeks over here all right so let's put these away all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat my lunch. I think I have a salad in there. I think I'm gonna eat that. 
Um, and then I will get to doing my hair and hopefully next time you see me, I'll have hair, okay? Hey y'all, so it's later in the day. I'm actually getting ready to go out on a date or like a, a couple's dinner. We're going somewhere very casual, it's raining, so I'm about to keep it pretty casual on the makeup, but I figure I might as well show y'all anyway. I'm just gonna speed through this and put this over music, so enjoy. Beyond words can't describe How you ignite this fire so deep inside Got me hot like the summer Ooh, Really no one even knows me like you do There's not many in my circle So few love how you're my friend And I just fool I love it when you say That you are here to stay I get you mad but it'll push you away Body, but then could be your hair, maybe your skin. Yeah, uh -huh. baby girl, I'm trying to get with you. Come, let me see what we get into. It don't even gotta be physical, as long as that pretty face visible. Yeah, uh -huh. 7 p.m. is a day, it's a day. Oh, baby, you know I'll probably be late. Huh? It's a bad habit, no, you can't be late. I'm sorry, but you stuck with me, babe. I promise it's gonna be worth your patience when you see me in the stress. Did you re-reserve the table? Shit, let's get going We going for a ride, explore the, unknown. explore the unknown Anticipating and thinking about when I'ma get you alone Picking you even if you had a clone Baby, I'm wavy, I'm sick of Patron You feeling me, got your poker face yeah. on Take you for a ride We listen to music, I'm touching your thighs I'm feeling your style You different, you giving the kid butterflies We made it in time You better than bad, finer than wine Well, thank you, baby You get what you see when you're patient Even now I'm tired of waiting Come let me see what you're working with I'ma show you why I'm your favorite yeah. But when I get you all alone When I get you That you 
Just wanted to show y'all my hair real quick. I do like it. I just gotta figure out like how to style or whatnot. And I do have some things I would do differently for next time, but I'm just wearing a little off the shoulder sweater, bag of the night. And my fragrance of the night is Tom Ford Tobacco Vinny. So I'll see y'all later.